come back from that surgery to play football. So definitely have to take a couple more precautions. So right around two to three weeks. Any side effects? Feel weak or anything like that? Kind of what was sweet, we just going through all that and how long you knew it was coming. And, and I can't, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the first part. But. Yeah, just kind of walk us through that whole process and how long you knew it was coming for you. Uh, I've known it for about a year now. You know, my sister has had this condition her whole life. So um, we've definitely been looking into it for a while and uh, definitely te testing different people to see who's a good match and that was the best one. So. When did you make that decision? Uh, I want to say it was like sometime around last year I talked to Coach Allen about it. Uh, for you personally, I mean, was that a, a tough decision or was that something that just... No, was, no, it was no hesitation. Uh, it's my baby sister, you know, so... Uh, what was the timing on when the surgery would be done and all how did that get decided in terms of this time? Um, you know, it was very, it was very last minute kind of, you know, because they have to test her. She has to, she goes through most of it. She had to go through chemo. She had to go through hundreds of tests. So really her timetable on her body was a determinant. And uh, I just kind of had to be on standby. How long was the actual procedure? Oh, the actual procedure? Yeah. Oh, about three and a half hours. Really? Yeah. And how yeah. did you feel after you came out of it? Was there pain on the hip? Or, uh, it was pretty painful. Pretty painful. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't you know, nothing I couldn't manage, but yeah. Was just like laying in a hospital bed? Or what was the, the recovery right after for you? Uh, the recovery was just like I didn't have to sleep in the hospital overnight. Um, I got to go to my bed at home and sleep. But um, you just don't get to move a lot for a while, for okay. about a week. Yeah. So. Where the pain mostly in the hip? Yeah, well, it's lower back. Yeah. Okay. What's your uh, What's your timetable here now? Uh, my timetable here now. Uh, you know, I'm working my way back in. Uh, Coach Helton probably knows more about that than I do. Is it more right now with hip where you have still pain, or is it just feeling weak? Uh, strength back. It's just ensuring that you know I'm back to where I was before the his surgery. It's yeah. a serious surgery, you know. It's, it's three holes in your lower back, you know. So, <laughs> um, just making sure I'm there. And where was the procedure? Was it in Arizona? It was in Phoenix. Yeah. So when you find out that you're the best match, what was what was kind of going through your head, or what was the Thought process because it instantly like it's me. I'm, I'm the guy. Yeah, I was thankful. Yeah. It was really, it was really yeah. a blessing. It was really a godsend. Um, uh, there's like 12 criteria mm -hmm. through blood that you matched, and I matched all 12. So and that's pretty that, rare. That ensures true. that pretty much ensures that her body will accept the cells. Yeah. So. Do you have doing? to wear any special protective stuff in the back? Uh, no. Yeah. How's she doing? She's doing great. Um, you know, she was supposed to be in the hospital for about three months, and uh, she was engrafted. Everybody except for the cells, so she got sent home a month earlier. So. How quickly do you find out if it accept, that her body accepts it? Is that something right away, or do you have to wait? And kind of. Oh, it was about, about a week ago. Okay. That her body is beginning to accept it, but you know, it takes a couple of times. She's on chemo now, so she has to wait for her immune system to build back up. Her new immune system. What was your first interaction with 